Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you're watching CPP.NET video series on C++ and in this video we'll be learning what is inline functions in C++. Okay, and the advantages and disadvantages of using that. So, this is your program. You're calling print me function with this string and we're taking it and printing it. Okay, and this we're doing for 10,000 times. Now, inline keyword is used like this. You will just simply write inline here then this function will become inline function okay now why you will make some function inline because if you know c you would have not make any function inline because this inline is a c++ keyword you won't get it in c so why you will make some function inline the reason is when you call some function like this then there is a overhead when calling is involved okay so as you can see here, you're calling this function 10,000 times. So what will happen 10,000 times? You will save your current state of main function. Then you will pass this argument to the new stack. I mean this print me function stack. Let me draw that. So as I was telling that you will be having this stack here. And this is your main stack. Okay. So main stack. Now you will be having this print me so there is this print me stack print me okay so what happens when you call some function like print me you was executing your whole flow and you encountered this print me function here okay now what you will do you will stop executing your main function okay then you will go to that function along with the parameters what you are passing okay so taking this parameter along with you you move this value from here to here and now you started executing this function okay you are executing and then after completing you will just return from here to the main function from where you called it okay like this so that return also requires some operations to perform right it won't come just like that or if you didn't understand if you are returning some value we are not returning anything from here but suppose if you are returning something from this function then that return statement whatever you are returning should be converted into assembly right so let's suppose you are returning some integer variable then you will have two three assembly language for returning that okay so those things will happen if you are calling this function but assume that instead of calling this function if there is a way to replace this statement whatever is this here itself no need to go there and come back go there come back for 10,000 times instead you can just copy whatever is there inside this and paste here and you are not doing this compiler will do this okay so if you are writing inline at front of function your compiler will think and notice this i am telling think that whether i should replace this function body with this function call or not okay so now you understood why we need inline function instead of calling something for so many time and making this whole thing for very silly thing instead of doing that you can just tell to the compiler that dude this function is inline function and you replace whatever i am doing here to the calling side okay so compiler will replace this with this statement okay and you are done you don't need to do anything compiler will do this so this was about what is inline functions now let's look at the advantages of using inline function so advantages are function calling overhead reduces okay i told you that you don't have to go come back go come back go come back because going and coming back requires so much effort you don't know what is happening behind the scene okay you just see this okay i'm going from here to here but 
taking the control from here to here and coming back requires so much effort i mean so many assembly codes okay so this was the first point second point is variables push and pop on stack is reduced obviously if you are having two or three or ten number of variables then you will be pushing these variables on top of this stack okay then that is also one extra burden instead of that you could have just replace this here so that was the second point third point is return call from the function overhead reduce we saw that also if you are returning something then also your compiler will generate some code for that and that is also unnecessary code okay and fourth is increases locality of references by utilizing instruction cache this is something which requires operating system knowledge but still i will try to explain that let's suppose you started from main function here and you are running 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 and all these things are just instructions okay so you started running first instruction second instruction and these are assembly instructions so what happens when your code will compile and the exe will get generated and when you are running that instruction i mean the exe your cpu will see let's suppose this program is creating uh, 100 instructions okay from 0 to 100 then these many instructions will be there then these instruction will be loaded inside cache okay so there is this cache there is this cpu okay this is your cache and this is your ram so from ram you will keep some information i mean some instruction inside cache and whenever cpu is executing some instruction it will take from cache and execute and if it is not found in cache it will go in ram and it will bring inside cache and then it will execute okay so here we are using cache so that we can find whatever we need so fast and there are two type of caches instruction cache and data cache we will not go inside much deep but the whole idea is whenever your cpu is executing the instructions as i said you will be having so many instructions your cpu does one thing let's suppose your cpu started executing some instruction from here let's suppose from zero then what your scheduler will do scheduler will take few more instruction let's suppose from 0 to 15 it will take and keep inside this cache okay so because it knows that okay if your cpu is running zeroth instruction then it will be needing one instruction second instruction third instruction so it will keep this much of instruction already inside your cache so cpu no need to go for uh, ram and search here because ram is always very big right 4 gb 8 gb so searching something inside ram is always costly so we keep things here okay so the searching will be easier and we always keep those instruction inside cache which are most likely to get executed by cpu in coming time okay so as i said it will keep 0 to 15 instruction inside cache and it will start running that now assume somewhere here your function call is there then what happens from here you are not going to run the remaining instruction from here and here let's suppose your function call was hit on sixth instruction only so from 6 to 15 instructions you are not going to run right now you will be running this jump instruction which will take you to somewhere here maybe your this function is here okay print me then this instruction will take you here so what will happen as you are going here your scheduler will think okay now you will be executing consecutively few instructions so it will copy this much of instruction inside cache now what is happening you are running here but you are coming back so you are coming back from here to here again okay so now your scheduler will think okay i'm supposed to keep this much information again inside my cache so as you can see this will keep on happening and this is just a wastage of time okay you're not getting any benefit of 
doing this and it takes really good amount of time to do these things okay so if you are doing this just sake of printing something or adding something or multiplying something or you are doing some very trivial thing then you should always use inline function so this instruction will i mean this statement will get replaced here and you won't be paying the penalties like this and let's suppose your instruction was replaced here itself then what will happen here it is so much messed up so i will write here let's suppose this is 0 and this is 100 and as i said from 0 to 15 will be loaded inside cache so you hit this for loop here and inside this you are running this c out so you will be here all the time and you will be executing this c out again and again and again okay so you won't be going somewhere else your cpu will always execute two to three instruction for printing whatever the message is this on the console okay so two three instruction two three instruction two three instruction it will not jump and go somewhere else okay so it is really very really faster okay so this was maybe a very big explanation about maybe i don't know you got the idea or not if you got it hit the like button i really need that so the fifth point is once inline is done compiler can also apply intra procedural optimization if specified so what is this dangerous term here this is looking very dangerous but it is not that dangerous it is just telling that if you have defined some function as inline here then your compiler will have the option to perform further optimizations and further optimization means maybe you are calling that function let's suppose you are calling that function here and your code is like integer x is equal to 10 okay and let's suppose you are doing integer y is equal to x plus 15 okay and you're just printing str and you're coming back is there any meaning of this code i don't think so it is not doing any benefit to you okay and yes compiler can sense that these things are called dead code your compiler will sense that okay this is not doing any good so it will remove these things okay so if you are putting in line as your keyword at front of function compiler have the option to do these things and nowadays compiler do this dead code elimination and all those stuff without doing this inline also i heard that somewhere i'm not sure about that but yeah compiler does that so that was the fifth point and that is not the last point actually there are so many advantages for using this i'm not listing everything because it will become very big video and i don't want to make this video so big so now let's look at the disadvantages and i'm telling you there are so many disadvantages also okay and those disadvantages are from operating system side so i'm not explaining everything okay so just keep in your mind few things which are really important for your exam or for some interviews okay the disadvantage is if used too many inline functions then code size will increase obviously look at the example here if let's suppose you are having only one line here let's suppose you are having three lines one two and three and your function was inline inline means your function calling was replaced with the function body so what you did instead of one line you replaced three lines okay three line one two and three and let's suppose these type of things you are doing maybe 100 times then what will happen if your compiler choose to make this function inline and really replace all these three instructions wherever this function call is happening then it will end up replacing 100 function calls i mean function statements with 100 into 3 300 statements will come okay so instead of 100 300 lines will increase okay so your program is increasing so the code i mean the exe size will also increase and another is compilation overhead compilation overhead will increase if someone changes code inside inline function then all calling function will have to be compiled 
this is little higher but I will try to explain that. Let's suppose this function is some function which is inside header file star dot h. Okay, let's suppose it is some header file and you are having this function inside that and you compile your program and everything is running fine but later someday you decided to change this function. Then what will happen? Either you remove or insert extra statements inside this and if you have done this change you have to compile right so when you will go and compile that that time all those files whichever is including this function has to compile again because you replaced few codes from here and now you have changed that code so this reflection should go there right that's why that compilation will happen again and it will take so much time if your project is really very big and let me tell you, I am working on some project in my company and that takes around 20 to 30 minutes to compile. Okay, so if I have done modification in one code and if I want to see the full compilation, it generally takes 20 to 30 minutes on server. I am telling you on server, not on some local i5 or i3 CPU. So it really matters how you are using your program. So that's it and yeah I wanted to tell few more things I have messed up this whole thing a lot I know as I said this is the message to the compiler that that if you want to replace this please replace it okay but it is not a command it is just a hint to the compiler compiler has all the rights whether it should replace this with this or not okay so there are a few predefined function types they will not become inline even if you write inline at front of them i mean compiler will never choose to replace them even if you are writing inline okay and those function types are recursive function so if you are having this function and you are calling yourself again from inside calling again coming back calling again coming back then it will not be replaced because your compiler cannot do that and if your function is virtual function then also it cannot be inline okay and there are a few other functions i don't remember that if you remember or if you know please comment it will be good to know that okay so i think i'm done here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye